Hello viewers, so this will be a continuation for the discussion and demonstration about the function of timer relay for the macro PLC. So for this video, I'm going to create a sample program. Okay. So what I'm going to create is when I press a push button, a certain delay or let's just say two seconds delay before a light bulb will be turned on so initially we'll, we'll start with that okay so i'm going to change the output uh, instead of um a bulb let's just use a timer relay first and then set it to two seconds okay now since i'm using a push button instead of toggle switch so in order for me to uh, be able to release my finger once i press this one i'm going to use a latching function okay so in order to do that i'm going to use an internal relay okay so instead of using q we're going to use m and then 0, 0.0 so that uh, if again if we use the q we will be expanding or using the first bulb so in order to save that bulb uh, let's just instead use uh, the internal relay so you can uh, if you notice so the internal relay is not yet connected okay so in order to do the, to uh, connect it in parallel so what we're going to do is we put a vertical line and then horizontal line in this part so you can do this one but you can also uh, do it in the last part so let's i'll just show you what i mean okay. so i'm going to erase this line so if on the last part if we put vertical line so this will be a parallel connection also so if you notice when i press the push button both the ton and the internal relay is energized okay. so i'm going to create a latching connection m0.0 i sorry So I'm also going to add a reset button. So I0.0 or I0.7, the red push button to reset this program. Okay. So let's try the latching function. So um, it is successful. So I'm going to reset this one. So after two seconds, we're going to... Uh, energize a light bulb okay so i uh, i suggest uh, do not add the rung or the new rung immediately after the first rung is created uh, to be safe you add another or you allocate a space so later when you want to add a parallel connection a parallel push button or a parallel output you will still have free space okay so instead of using the number three or the number four i'm going to use the number five okay so using the ton 0, 0.0 we are going to energize a light bulb Okay, trying uh, I'm going to try the program okay if you notice after a certain delay or after two seconds delay the light bulb is uh, energized so what if I need uh, I want to add another light bulb but uh, it will be energized also after two seconds uh, the first bulb is energized okay so how do I do that I'm going to use another timer function or an another timer on delay function. 
Okay. So, since this will be another timer, uh, be sure to select another address. So, for now, I'm going to use the TON1 or TON0.1. And let's just make it 2 seconds also. And using the second timer, we will be energizing another. I'm sorry. We will be energizing another light bulb. Okay, I'm going to try the program. Okay. So what if I want uh, the program to be turned off once the second bulb is turned on? So how do I do that? Uh, well, let's just say after two seconds, the second bulb is turned on, it will be turned off. Okay. So let's add another timer function ton so i'm going to use the ton2 and 2 seconds also okay. i'm going to reset the program first okay. so what i want is uh, when i press the button 2 seconds delay before before the first bulb is energized and after 2 seconds the second bulb is energized but after 2 seconds both the bulb will be turned off so how do i do that so again i add ton2 or ton0.2 so using this timer function or this address i'm going to use it to automatically reset my program okay. so i'm going to use the normally close input and I'm going to use the TON. Okay. So uh, let's try the program. Okay. So if you notice, after two seconds, the last, the second bulb is energized. Uh, both the bulb is automatically turned off okay so what if uh we add another bulb the q0.2 but uh it will be energized once both the uh bulb one and bulb two is de-energized so how do we do that uh first i'm just going to add another input using the ton ton2 and after that i'm going to add wait a timer of delay So since this is timer of delay, we can use again the first address. So TON0 and TOF0 is different. Okay. okay I'm going to set 2 seconds. Okay. And using the TOF as input, I'm going to uh, add another light bulb. Okay, so let's try this program.
sorry. I'm just going to troubleshoot first. Okay, so the issue is that I selected the TOF0, but in this input, I selected the TOF2. Okay, so that is the problem. Okay. So I'm going to try again the program. So first, second, first and the second is turned on, but when it's turned off, a new bulb is turned on. But after two seconds, uh, it is also turned off. So what if I want to make it automatic? So after the last bulb is turned off, the first bulb will be turned on again. So how do I do that? Using the timer off address, the TOF0, I'm just going to add a parallel connection to this one. So TOF0.0. .0. So let's try this program. Uh, sorry, I'm going to add a vertical line to make it parallel. Okay, so if you notice, I make it a continuous operation. So I just press a push button and it is continuously uh, redoing its function or its program. Okay. Although there is a better way uh, uh, in order to do the same program, but with a more simple approach but i'm not going to demonstrate that in this video so this will this video uh, i'm going to end it now okay, so thank you very much if you have question just post in the comment section